Hello. Hello. Okay, hi, Diego. You're the only one today here. Yes, yes. <laughs> okay, van a venir los demás. Bueno, vamos a hacerles un poquito la esperita porque ya se van a incorporar. Voy a mandar un mensajito, entonces. Ok. Ok, veamos. Ok, we have uh, Kimberly Nola Nolasco. Hello. Surma Beatriz Pérez, hello. And Rebeca Estefanía. Also, Josué Rivas. Surma Beatriz. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Yeah. Maritza. Everybody, welcome. And Diego Anthony. Okay. So, how are you? How's everything? Everything is very well. Okay, all right, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, okay, I'm going to start sharing my screen right now. Let's see, we have this. Okay. Okay, can you see the screen I'm sharing right now? Yes, teacher. Okay, yes. great, thank you very much. Okay. So everybody, welcome. This is Inglés Intermedio, Módulo 3. Again, that's me, Ivan Doñan, at your service. This is Intermediate 3, Session session 4. Oops, I forgot to change that. I apologize. <laughs> forgot to change the date and the number of the session. Okay, now, that's the way. Uh, it's Session 4, and today is September the 8th, 2022. So, what are we going to do today? We have two objectives, basically. The first one is, by the end of this class, you will be able to use the passive without by. This is uh, what we started to do yesterday. And that we're going to continue with the activity uh, that we began, but we couldn't finish. Okay, so before that, short review. Okay, repaso corto. We use the passive without by when the agent is unknown. For example, the wheel was invented over 5,000 years ago. Now, who invented the wheel? Nobody knows. The agent is unknown. Number two, we use the passive without by when the agent is obvious. Example, two criminals were arrested last night. Who arrested the criminals? It was the police, of course. So the agent, is obvious. Also, we use the passive voice without by when the agent is unimportant, okay? This is when we want to focus on the action in the sentence and not on who does the action. So oranges are imported into Canada every week. The question is, who imports the oranges into Canada? Well, we don't need to know that to understand the sentence. That's why the focus is on the action and not on the person who does the action, okay? That's a review. Now, we're going to have this again, a second review on the structure, but this time we're not going to go part by part, okay? I will need a volunteer to tell me directly the passive equivalent of this sentence. The active voice is, or the active sentence is, they sell cold drinks here. Okay, I need a volunteer. What is the passive voice equivalent of this sentence? Mm -hmm. They sell cold drinks here. Cold drink. Uh-huh. 
are eh. hasta ahí todo bien cold <laughs> drinks are mm -hmm. okay maybe somebody can help we have a okay navy our soul here okay that's good thank you so you have cold drinks are sold here okay very good that's the passive voice so again what do you have to know you have to identify the verb which is sell and you need to determine the tense the tense is present simple okay so then the subject is they and then the object is cold drinks now to make the passive sentence you use the object at the beginning then you use the verb be the verb be in present simple so cold drinks are and finally the main verb which is sell but in past participle form sold cold drinks are sold here okay so that's what we did what about this one someone painted this office last week same thing i want i want one of you to tell me the passive equivalent of this active sentence who can help me uh, this office uh, what what was the, the question i'm sorry yeah, yeah i want you to tell me the passive uh, equivalent of this sentence so this office this office was painted by someone okay that's good uh -huh. was very good place. Oh. very good very good but <laughs> remember we are studying <laughs> the someone. passive yeah. without by okay oh. so yeah we said, uh -huh. someone you don't know who was uh -huh. yeah that's right yeah so this office was painted last week. Correct. Okay. This office was painted last week. Okay. Very good. Entonces, ¿por qué no decimos by someone? Porque, pues sí, las oficinas no se limpian solas. Alguien tiene que limpiarlas. Así que suena redundante decir eso, ¿verdad? Entonces, en estos casos es que no vamos a ocupar by y el agent. No es necesario. Solo decimos, this office was painted last week. Okay? So, notice that the subject in the active sentence, which is this office, is the same as the subject in the passive sentence. In this case, we, number one, don't know who did the action. No sabemos quién lo hizo. And number two, we don't need to know to understand the sentence. Tampoco necesitamos saberla. Okay? So, that's it. So yesterday uh, you were doing this exercise and uh, it's homework, okay? So we're going to check the answers right now, okay? Did you do your homework? I hope so. So your turn, complete the sentences using these verbs in the correct form, either present or past, okay? Passive voice. The verbs are cost, damage, hold, invite, make, demolish, show, discover, translate, and write. Number one, volunteer, please. Raise your digital hand, please. Maritza. Um, Gauss, man, man as accidents, Gauss be dangerous, dangerous, by dangerous, Driving. Drive it. Drive it. Okay. Okay. Um, one word is missing. Falta una palabra ahí. Many accidents. Uh, Kimberly wants to participate. It was. Many was accidents out. was. Hmm. But this is something in general. Okay. It's not a specific event in the past. Navy wants to participate. Um, are mm -hmm. many accidents are caused by are dangerous caused. driving. Mm -hmm. so, so muchos accidentes son ocasionados o son causados por 
manejar de manera eh, peligrosa. So many accidents are caused by dangerous driving. This is something that occurs in general. Okay, it's not a specific event in the past. So we're using the verb be in present form. What about number two? Volunteers. Navy. Well, wait, 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 wait a second. Sulma, because Navy just participated. Okay, we're going to give Sulma an opportunity. But thank you, Navy. Okay, Sulma. Uh, yes. Uh, cheese is made from milk. Cheese is made from milk. That is correct. In general, cheese is made from milk. Very good. Thank you. What about number three? Volunteers, please raise your hand. Si pena ni miedo. Vamos, vamos. Okay, Rebecca. And then Sulma and then Navy. <laughs> okay, so please, Rebecca, we start with you. The roof of the building was damaged. Yes. In a storm many days ago. The roof of the building was damaged in a storm many days ago. Ahora ahí dicen, many days ago. This is a specific event in the past. That's why we use the verb be in the past. Okay, great. Thank you. Number four. Who has number four? No lo piensen mucho. Ven que por estar pensando mucho ahí, le ganan la participación. Uh -huh. Who has number four? Volunteers? Josué, ok. Josué, is your um, microphone active? Ok. You were, in, you were invited to the wedding. Why didn't you go? You were invited to the wedding. Invited. Mm -hmm. Why didn't you go? Correct, Josué. Thank you. You were invited to the wedding. Why didn't you go? Aquí dice, why didn't you go? ¿Por qué no fuiste? That's in the past. That's why we use the verb be in past. Thank you. Number five. Mm -hmm. Sin miedo. Jessica. A cinema is a place where it please is shown. Así lo tengo, no sé. Okay, a cinema is a place where films, films is a plural noun. So we can't use is, we have to use, who can help me? Mm -hmm. No podemos ocupar is porque la palabra films es plural. Uh, hi. Are, okay, muy bien. Where films are, y el past participle de show, ¿cuál será? Tenemos, a cinema is a oh. place where films are shown, with an N. Resulta que ese verbo es especial, se lo voy a mostrar. Pueden ver el blog de notas que estoy poniendo en pantalla. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes. Good. We have the verb show. El pasado eh, pareciera como que fuera un verbo regular porque es showed, pero no es un verbo regular, es un irregular verb. El past participle es shown. Uh -huh. Y este es el que vamos a ocupar en past voice. Shown. Ok. Yo le tenía como el segundo por eso. Ajá. Estaba ocupando la forma en pasado, no el past participle. Esa Ajá. era. Ajá. Uh -huh. Pero es fácil confundirse. Como les digo, uno mira esto y dice, ah, es un verbo regular, entonces tiene que ser igual al past participle. Pero no, en realidad show es un irregular verb. Entonces es un verbo engañoso. Ok, let's continue. Number six. Volunteers, please. Let's do this. 
Ciro. Yes. Uh, in the United States election for president, I'll hold every four years. Okay, there is a little problem. What's the past participle of hold? Oh, it's a uh, hold it, hold them. Mm -mm. It's irregular. Well, I don't know. Uh -huh. No problem. Don't worry. Who can help us? Quien nos puede ayudar a completar esto? In the United States, elections for president are. ¿Qué palabra falta ahí? Held. Held. Okay, it was uh, Rodrigo Daniel. So, yeah, in the United States, elections for president are held every four years. Okay, are held. Siempre, siempre que tengamos dudas sobre el past participle, busquémoslo en una lista. En internet, sobran las listas. Solo ponga ahí en Google, a uh, list of irregular verbs, y le va a salir un montón de sitios web donde están. Y gratis. Okay, number seven. Volunteers, please. Rodrigo Daniel. And then Maritza. Maritza, you go for number eight. Okay, Rodrigo. Originally, the book was written in Spanish. And a few years ago, it was translate, translated into English. Yeah, good. Originally, the book was written in Spanish, and a few years ago, it was translated into English. Okay, that is good, very good. Number eight, Maritza, eh, no sé si quería participar para la número ocho. O era la siete nomás. <laughs> Number eight. Uh, yes. Okay. Seven, and, and the all upper Building. Um, uh, um, are um, demolished. Mm -hmm. Three months ago. Three months ago. Okay. Aquí tenemos three months ago. O sea que es en el pasado. The old opera building was was. was demolished three months ago. Okay, good. The old opera building was demolished three months ago. Great. And number nine, antibiotics. How about this one? Volunteer, please. The last one. No. Okay, Kimberly. Antibiotics. Uh, was dis discovered in 1928. Okay, antibiotics, a plural noun. So, we don't say was, we say? Were. Were. Ah, sorry. Antibiotics, <laughs> no problem. Were, okay. Antibiotics <laughs> were discovered in 1928. Okay, there we go. So, um, let's continue. What are you going to do? You're going to go into the breakout rooms. Okay, we have this final activity. And after this, we're going to check the exercises from the platform. Okay, y que algunos tenían algunas dudas para el ejercicio eh, de la plataforma. Así que vamos a resolver este juntos. Y luego vamos a ver eso directamente. Okay, first, let's see how many people are there. 14, 13, okay. Se fue uno. <laughs> Okay, we're going to create the rooms. Six rooms. Here we go. Okay, so room one, you have Ciro and Diego Anthony. Room two, Jessica Rosales and Josue Rivas. Room three, Kimberly Nolasco and Rodrigo Antonio. Room four, Sandra Patricia and Surma Beatriz. Room five, Rebecca Estefania and Rodrigo Daniel. Uh, room six, Maritza Guadalupe and Nady Ibis. Okay, I'm going to open, well, not yet. I'm going to explain the exercise. Okay, your turn. You need to change the active sentences into passive sentences. Hay que hacer la oración activa, pasiva. 
Por ejemplo, they don't deliver the mail on Sundays. Don't deliver, present simple. So you say, the mail isn't delivered on Sundays. Estoy dando la primera de ejemplo. Vamos a hacer las otras cuatro en los uh, breakout rooms. Pero antes les voy a mandar eh, la captura. Porque una vez entro al breakout room de cada uno de ustedes, ya deja de compartir. Just give me a moment. Ok. Se me perdió. Ok, I found it. Ok, we're going to start. Please, everybody, join the breakout rooms. Ya pueden unirse a las salas. You can now join the breakout rooms. Okay, thank you. Check the WhatsApp chat. Okay, you will have the screenshot right there. Sí, aquí la tengo. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Welcome. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Bye. Uh, Diego, the second question is a uh, the Olympic Games. Hold, hold the. Okay. The Olympic Gay Games. Yeah, the whole Olympic Games every four years. Years. Seria the Olympic Games are held every four years. That is the correct answer. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very good. I'm going to go into a different room. See you later. Thank you. Hi. Hello. Hello. ¿Cómo vamos? Armando. <laughs> Aquí luchando un ratito. Okay. okay, ¿cómo sería eh, la segunda, digamos? They hold the Olympic Games every four years. They have. Mm -hmm. They have the Olympic every, every four years. Ok, um, acordémonos, acordémonos del, de la fórmula que les había mostrado. Primero mm -hmm. encontramos el verbo. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Hold. 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 Así es. Entonces, ¿y luego el sujeto cuál es? Olympic game. No, that's the object. Ah, Ajá. Okay. El, el subject es they, así they, es. They. Y okay. luego decimos, they hold what? La respuesta de eso es el object. They hold what? Olympic game every four years. Ajá. Solamente es the Olympic Games. They Olympic hold the Olympic game. Games. Entonces, para hacer la oración pasiva, vamos a tomar ese objeto y lo ponemos al principio. Y decimos, the Olympic ah, Games. Yeah. Ajá. The Olympic Games. Ok. Eh, como está en pasado, hold, sería... En presente. Ah, en presente, sería... Ah. R. 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 Okay. Mm. And the past participle of hold? Held. Held, así es. Entonces, ¿nos queda la oración? 
the Olympic Games. The Olympic Games. Are held every four years. Great. Okay. Bye. That is Gracias, correct. Teacher. Thank you. Okay. I'm going into a different room now. See you later. Hello. Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ¿cómo vamos? Bueno, ahorita vamos por la penúltima. Oh, okay. Por la penúltima. Y esperamos que nos salga bien. A veces me confundo con el Word, Press, and R, entonces. Pero todo bien. Okay, okay. Ha sido un buen ayudante. Okay. ¿Cómo les quedó la tercera? Veamos, que es They produced the first Volkswagen Beetles in 1937. ¿Lo va a decir usted, Rodrigo, o lo digo yo? Díganlo usted. Ah, <laughs> Late, ladies, bien. ladies first. Qué caballeroso, está bien, gracias. The first Volkswagen Beetles was produced in 1937. Ok, just one problem. The Ajá. first Volkswagen Beetles, that's a plural noun. We can't say was. Was. Mm -mm. It's plural. Eh, pero dice el primero. Ah, yeah. pero si se fijan, dice the first Volkswagen, Volkswagen Beetles. Más bien son los primeros. Ah, está Volkswagen en plural. Beatles. Es plural, porque la palabra Beatles va en plural. Yo pensé que era el nombre. Ah, sí, es ah, cierto. No, es eh, eh, el Ajá, así es. Ah, ya, gracias, teacher. Ok. Esa hizo la diferencia, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Así es. Virus en plural, solo, solo la banda de Inglaterra. Solo la banda, yo no sabía que era. ¿Y de esta banda de quién? ¿De un primer vehículo de los Beatles? Más bien de los, los primeros primeros. que se produjeron. De los primeros. Digamos, la primera serie de, del Volkswagen Beetle. Ah, entiendo. Sí, perfecto. Bueno, está bien. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go into a different room. See you later. Okay, see you later. Hello. 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 Okay. Go vamos. Is only la, the four or all the sentences? Um, no, just one. Solo necesito que me muestren cómo han resuelto una de ellas, nomás. Este, la... Sería la... Souvenir, César. Vaya, veamos, dice... They sell souvenirs at all popular tourist places. Entonces, the souvenir are sold at all popular tourist places. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. Good, 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 the, good. The okay. La, Bingo. La, la. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Voy a ir al siguiente, a la siguiente sala. Okay, I'm going to jump into a different room. See you later. See you. Mm -hmm. Hello. 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 ¿Cómo vamos? Bien. Okay. Uh, how many have you finished? All. All of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you tell me uh, the answer to number five? They they make Scott Scotch whiskey in Scotland. Scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. Excellent. Okay, very good. All right, great. I'm going to jump into a different room now. See you later. Okay, teacher. See you. Hello. 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 Como vamos? 
teacher help mm, okay. sentence four sentence four they sell souvenirs at all popular tourist places Ajá. ¿Cómo tenemos yeah. esa? En realidad sería el pasado de sell o souvenirs. Bueno, primero tenemos que ver el verbo es sell, que está en presente. Mm. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Y luego, ¿cuál sería el object? Mm. Oh, I'm sorry? Mm. Souvenir. Souvenir. Ok, souvenirs. Ok, los recuerditos. The souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Entonces comenzamos con eso y decimos souvenirs. Mm -hmm. Luego va el verb be. Mm. Are. Are. Así es, porque en la oración activa el verbo sell está en presente. Por lo tanto, el verb be va a ir en presente también. Souvenirs are. Are sold. Are sold. Uh -huh. At a popular tourist place. Yes. Souvenirs are sold at all popular tourist places. Okay. Good. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Welcome. Vamos a salir ya de los breakout rooms. Okay. Thank you. Okay, everybody, we're leaving the breakout rooms now. See you in one minute. Everybody, you can exit the breakout rooms now. Okay, everybody, can you see the screen I'm sharing? Yes, you can. Excellent. Okay, the second one. They hold the Olympic Games every four years. Volunteers, what do you have? Mm -hmm. Jessica. The Olympic Games are held every four years. Here. The Olympic Games are held every four years. Correct. Very good. Okay, great. What about the next one? They produced the first Volkswagen Beetles in 1937. Sandra. Uh, the first Volkswagen Beetles in 1937. Okay, there's only one, one little problem. Beatles is mm -hmm. a plural noun. Beatles. We can't Beatles. say was. Uh -huh. Where, where, where. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, the first Volkswagen Beatles were produced in 1937. Great, thank you. What about the next one? Volunteer, please. Raise your hand. Uh -huh. Rodrigo. Souvenirs were uh, sold at all popular tourist places. Okay, but there is a problem. Si ustedes se fijan en la oración activa, in the active sentence, the verb is in present, not in past. Así que no podemos ocupar where. ¿Cómo sería ah, entonces? Ajá. Ah, ah, ok. Can you tell me the sentence again? Souvenirs are sold at all popular tourist places. Correct. Souvenirs are sold at all popular tourist places. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. And the last one. 
Ah, Sandra, no sé si quiere participar o si le quedó la manita levantada nada más. Ah, perdón. perdón. <laughs> okay, no problem, no problem. Uh, okay, the last one. They make Scotch whiskey in Scotland. Mm -hmm. Okay, Ciro. Okay, Scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. Scotch whiskey is made in Scotland. Correct. Very good. Okay. That's the end of the practice right here. Ahora bien, eh, vamos a pasar a, ver, a esta sección. Algunos tenían un poquito de problemas acá y vamos a resolver, uy, vamos a resolver eso. Solo permítanme un momento porque voy a quitar las respuestas. Yo lo tengo, yo lo contesté, pero voy a quitar las respuestas para no, no darlas tan fácil, ¿no? Ok. Ahí está. Ok. Me comentaban que tenían un poquito de dificultad en esta parte, en el knowledge check. ¿Verdad? Ok, ¿en cuál de todas han tenido problema? La van a decir en todas. ¿En cuál de todas han tenido problemas? Ajá. Teacher, es que en mi caso la ponía completa la oración. Ajá, sí. Pero ya solamente puso las palabras que faltan, ¿verdad? Sí. Hoy sí, sí le sale ya. bien. Hoy sí, ya. Ok, perfect. <ríe> ok, me parecía Kimberly, creo que me dijo, tenía ahí. No, no era Kimberly. Sí, también tengo una pregunta. De Ajá. Me la, no me la aceptó, me la aceptó sí. todas en la plataforma, pero... Uh -huh. Ay, pero entiendo que no puedo bajar. Es una computadora de escritorio y no puedo ni levantar la mano. Ah. Entonces, ah, entonces estoy. No puedo ah. ver. Yo estaba buscando su pantalla, pero si la ponen más abajo en su pantalla. Ok. Yo quería bonito. Number one, two, three, four. Es other crops. Permítame, aquí lo tengo. Aquí está. Number, number two, some crops. Number five. Number five. A white. Variety of seafood. I put the two forms. Is that chat or are cut? En ninguna de las dos me las aceptó. Ok. El problema es el verbo. Es, es, de... es, es irregular. A wide variety of seafood oh. is cut. Oh. That's the answer. Gracias. Okay. Es participo, ¿verdad? El, el past el... participle. Ay, con razón, me... está bien. Muchas gracias. <laughs> bueno, ok. No problem, no problem. No, no tengan pena. Miren, de los errores aprendemos. Muchas veces Gracias. las lecciones más grandes que tenemos eh, provienen de nuestros errores, así que no hay problema. Josué. Eh, yo tuve un inconveniente en number four. Number four. Uh -huh. ¿Cómo la había contestado? Uh, our cultivated. cultivated in warmer parts. Vaya, tenemos una cuestión ahí. Rice. Vamos a poner esto. Ustedes han estudiado con anterioridad. Bueno, les pregunto porque no sé. Eh, countable versus uncountable nouns. Los nombres contables y los incontables. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Entonces, rice es un ejemplo de un uncountable noun. Lo que significa que con un uncountable noun siempre vamos a ocupar el verbo como en tercera persona singular. No puede ser are, sino que tiene que ser. Uh -huh. Is. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? Is uh -huh. It's cultivated. Rice is cultivated in warmer parts. Uh -huh. No puede ser R porque rice no se puede contar. Uh, 
nadie va a contar los granitos de arroz uno por uno. Así que se considera uncountable. Por lo tanto, rice is. Jessica. Yo tenía el problema en la de, en la más abajo, pero ya lo solucioné porque estaba usando el pasado sí. Ah. De May. ¿Cuál de era? May. May. De, de US. La A. Ah, number eight. The US. Ok. The US. Es un país. The United States. A pesar de que parece que fuera plural, United States, Estados Unidos. Ok. El nombre es singular, de hecho. The United States is made up of 50 states. Porque es un país. Es un solo país. Por lo tanto, ocupa is. The United States is made up of 50 states. Okay. Any other questions? Y la, la última tiene un error en el verbo o así se escribe? Ah, sí, ahorita que estoy viendo, sí aparece. Es que un... me costó encontrar eso. Uh -huh. Sí, tendría que ser manufacturer. Manufacture. Ajá, sí. Fíjese que en la prisa de resolverlo no me había dado cuenta que había un error ahí. Bueno. Las disculpas del yo, caso. ¿Qué verbo sería ese? Decía, ¿qué verbo Ma manu sería? Manufacture, dice ahí. Pero no, tiene que ser manufacture. Ajá, ahí se fue, se fue mal eso, por alguna razón. Error de, error de dedo, dicho. Ajá, fue error de dedo ahí. Alguien lo digitó y se fue. No se dieron cuenta. Ok. So, cars and computers are manufactured in Korea. Así quedaría. Ok. No more questions. No. no. Okay, and we'll continue. We're going back to the presentation now. Huh? Okay, second objective. Vamos a empezar hoy porque ya casi se nos acaba el tiempo. By the end of this class, you will be able to use past continuous and simple past to express an action which was in progress in the past and got interrupted by another completed action. Okay. So, this is what you will find in the video. This is uh, uh, section 2.1, I believe. Yeah, past continuous versus past simple. So you will find uh, the video and the explanation right there. And this is also part of it. This is past continuous versus simple past. We use the past continuous for an action in progress in the past, and we use the simple past for a completed action. Examples. I was watching a good movie, but I fell asleep before the end. I was working at a boring job when someone offered me a much better one. While I was shopping one day, a celebrity walked into the store. Okay. Pero mi trabajo es expandir estas explicaciones porque muy cortito, ¿verdad? Así que vamos a ver esto en mayor detalle. Para ello he preparado esto. So, The first thing we need to know is the difference between the past simple and the past continuous, okay? It's not difficult, it's not complicated. Let's take a look. We use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Quiere decir una actividad o una acción que está ya completa, comenzó y terminó. Ya pasó. For example, what did you do? last weekend. This is past simple. ¿Cuándo fue el fin de semana? Fue hace como cuatro días, cuatro o cinco días, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo que sucedió el fin de semana ya terminó, ya pasó. You have some examples. I went to the movies. I played tennis. I read a book. I cleaned the windows. I went to a concert. I stayed home. Me quedé en la casa. Okay. All this is past simple. Estamos hablando de acciones completas. Ya terminaron que están en el pasado. Si yo le pregunto a uno de ustedes. What did you do last weekend? ¿Quién me puede decir una oración? Algo que hicieron. Mm -hmm. Yes, I went to the church. I went to church. Okay, good. I went to church. Uh, Ciro wanted to say something. 
I went to visit my parents. I went to visit my parents. Okay, perfect. That is past simple. Very good. Ambos ejemplos están muy bien. Okay, that's past simple. And uh, we have to remember the structure too. Okay, this is, uh, I am sure you have studied this before, but we need to review. Affirmative form. What do we need? We need a subject and a verb in past. Solo eso. Okay, examples. Abraham worked in this company. My friends went to Mexico last month. I have a question for you. What kind of verb is work? ¿Qué tipo de verbo es work? Regular verb. It's a regular verb, correct. And what kind of verb is went in this case? Regular verb. Irre irregular verb, ok. Ya sabemos que los verbos regulares terminan en ed, la forma en pasado, ¿verdad? Mientras que los irregulares tienen su propia manera, no existen reglas para ellos, así que solo hay una forma, hay que memorizarse. No hay change. otra. They change, correct. They change. Ok. But what is the negative form? For the negative form, we need the subject, we need didn't, and then we need the verb. But this time, you are going to use the verb in base form, okay? Not in past form. You will need it in base form. Let's see, what's the negative of the first sentence? Abraham worked in this company. What is the negative equivalent of this sentence? Mm-hmm. Abraham, don't work. Ah, pero si decimos don't work, eso es presente. Estamos en pasado. Ahora hay que utilizar didn't. Didn't. Ah, Abraham didn't work in this company. Abraham didn't work in this company. O sea, él no trabajó en esta compañía. Alguien se confundió ahí. Dice. Dijeron que ahí trabajaba, pero no. Eso, no hay registro de que haya trabajado aquí. So Abraham didn't work in this company. Okay, good. What about the next one? My friends went to Mexico last month. What is the negative? My friend didn't went. Okay, but there is what a problem. What uh, not exactly, not exactly. You say, my friends, as a subject, didn't, ahí vamos bien. Pero luego hay que ocupar el verbo en forma base, no en pasado. Go. Go. Ajá, Go. entonces nos queda... Didn't go. Didn't go. Correct. My friends didn't go to Mexico last month. Okay. Así nos quedaría. En la forma negativa, el verbo regresa a su forma original, su forma base. That's right. Mm -hmm. And what about this? It's not affirmative, but sorry. Should be question. Yeah, mal eso. Question form. In the question form, you need did as the auxiliary, then the subject, and then the verb in base form. Okay? Y un question mark al final, una signo de interrogación. Entonces, ¿cómo nos queda eso? La primera, Abraham worked in this company. ¿Cómo nos queda la pregunta? Teacher mm -hmm. me. Maritza. Okay. Okay. Maritza. Um, did Abraham work in this company? Company. Yep. Oops. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Ay, se trabó la presentación. Ahí está. Did Abraham work in this company? Correct. Very good, Maritza. Okay. Did Abraham work in this company? You can see here. Did. Then the subject, Abraham, and then the verb in base form, not in past form, okay? It's in base form. Okay, the second one, my friends went to Mexico last month. Para que sea lógico, en vez de decir my friends, hay que decir your friends, porque si no, uno solo está preguntando. Entonces, ¿cómo nos quedaría? What is the question form? Kimberly? 
your friends go to Mexico last month? Correct. Did your friends go to Mexico last month? Very good. Ahí estamos. Ahora bien, que sigue acá. Past continuous. The past continuous is different from past simple. Okay, we use the past continuous for incomplete, ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. Estas acciones no fueron concluidas, no fueron terminadas, sino más bien estaban en progreso en un determinado momento. Voy a dar unos ejemplos. What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Es decir, no le pregunta qué fue lo que hizo. Le pregunta qué estaba haciendo a las 10. O sea, qué actividad estaba en progreso en ese momento. Ok. You have some examples. I was walking the dog. I was working at the office. I was doing exercise. ¿Y cómo se utiliza? Es el verb be en pasado y el verbo principal en ing. Eso es todo. I was walking the dog. I was working at the office. I was doing exercise. ¿Ok? Dejo esta pregunta abierta para que me conteste quien quiera. What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Le voy a decir que estaba haciendo yo. I was teaching a class. <laughs> Lo mismo que ahorita. Okay. I was teaching a class. Okay, so what about you? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Ciro? I, I was watching at, at the movie. I was watching a movie. Okay, good. Someone else? Okay, Ciro ya nos compartió ahí su experiencia. ¿Quién más? Me ayuda. Ajá. Uh -huh. I was cleaning my house. I was cleaning my house. Very good. Okay, great. Who else? What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? Hey, teacher. I was, I was in a world meeting. Okay, I was... Mire, la oración está bien, solo que no está utilizando past continuous. Pero que ah. está bien dicha, está bien dicha. <laughs> ok. I was vez... in a working. I was working. Ajá, podemos decir eso. Ajá, I was working. Estaba trabajando. Ok, good. Uh, someone else? ¿Alguien más? The last one. Nady. I was shopping in the supermarket. I was shopping at the supermarket. Okay, very good. Okay, entonces si se fijan, todas esas son actividades que no habían terminado en ese momento. Más bien estaban en progreso a las 10 de la mañana. Comenzaron antes de las 10 y terminaron después de las 10. No sé a qué hora. Comenzaron y a qué horas terminaron. Pero a las 10, eso es lo que estaban haciendo. Esa es la diferencia entre past simple y past continuous. Cuando es past simple, la actividad ya terminó. Ya concluyó. Pero past continuous nos dice una actividad que estaba en progreso en un momento determinado en el pasado. So we're going to study the structure too. What time is it? 8.55. Wow, we only have five minutes. Well, affirmative form. Me pasó lo mismo la otra vez. Question. Okay, affirmative form. We use the subject and was or where. Y tienen que tener cuidado porque ya sabemos que si el sujeto es, el subject es I, he, she, or it, tiene que ocupar was. Si es you, we, or they, tienen que ocupar where. Ok. So, Susan was watching TV. So, you need the subject, Susa, Susan, was and where, was in this case, verb in ing, watching TV. Second example. The kids were playing baseball. Okay. What about the negative form? In the negative form, we have the subject and then the negative of the verb being past. Wasn't or weren't. And then the verb in ing. 
what is the negative form of the first sentence? Susan was watching TV. Susan was in watching TV. Correct. Thank you, Ciro. Susan wasn't watching TV. Very good. Okay. What is the negative form of the second sentence? The kids were playing baseball. The kids weren't playing baseball. The playing kids baseball. weren't playing baseball. Thank you, Sulma. Very good. Okay. Great. And then finally, we have the question form. The question form starts with was or where. It's followed by the subject and it ends with a verb in ing and any other words necessary. What is the question form for the first sentence? Susan was watching TV, but in question, yes, no question now. Was, was Susan watch TV? Watching TV, yes. Was Susan watching TV? Correct. Okay, thank you, Maritza. And the uh, last one, okay, um, what is the question form of the second sentence? The kids were playing baseball. Were, were the, kids the kids playing baseball? Baseball. Playing. Okay, thank you, Ciro, Sulma, and Sandra. <laughs> were the kids playing baseball? Yes, were the kids playing baseball. That's it, that's the affirmative, the negative, and the question forms for the past continuous. Okay. Before we continue, do you have any questions about the past simple or the past continuous? No teacher. It's no clear. questions. It's clear. Clear, yeah. like water. It's clear. <laughs> water from Aselwate River. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Very good. Well, we have an exercise, but we don't have time to finish it. So we're going to do it on Monday. Yeah, because tomorrow is Friday, no class. So, um, okay. Just going back here. Un pequeño, pequeño, pequeño repaso. De nuevo. Okay. We use the past simple for complete actions in the past. Ya estuvo, ya terminó eso. Ya se completó la acción. What did you do last weekend? I went to the movies. I played tennis. I read a book. I cleaned the windows. I went to a concert. I stayed home. So, when do we use the past continuous? We use the past continuous for incomplete ongoing actions at a specific moment in the past. What were you doing last Saturday at 10 a.m.? I was walking the dog. I was working at the office. I was doing exercise. Okay? O oh, cualquier acción que usted estuviese haciendo en ese momento. That's the idea. Okay, uh, we're about to finish. Just uh, let me show you the platform right here. Vaya, vamos por acá. Ya estas actividades tendrían que estar resueltas. Toda la sección 1. Y vamos acá. Siguiente. Ay, no carga. Ahí está. Ok. Luego está lesson objective, que es el mismo que vimos ya aquí en la clase. Y tenemos past continuous versus past simple past. O past simple, que es lo mismo. Les recomiendo mucho ver el video explicado ahí por mis cerritos. Aquí está. Y luego aparece el knowledge check. Si ustedes pueden trabajar en este, en el knowledge check, estaría súper bien. Solo es de elegir, nada más. ¿Ok? Eh, si lo pueden trabajar durante el fin de semana, excelente. Si no, entonces igual el día lunes vamos a continuar con la explicación, porque hasta ahorita fue un poquito superficial, no hemos hecho ningún ejercicio. Pero vamos a hacer ejercicios y luego ya pueden ir ustedes a Knowledge Check. Acuérdense que pueden adelantar los ejercicios, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Aunque por lo general es mejor ir al mismo ritmo que estamos estudiando en la clase. 
Okay, we're going to finish here. Everybody, thank you very much. And remember, tomorrow is Friday, so there's no class. And I will see you on Monday. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. You too. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Take good care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.